Thank you. It's uh, truly my um, honor and pleasure to have Dr. David Jong, Under Secretary of the Innovation and Technology Bureau, which is the newest bureau under the current administration of Hong Kong SAR. I think that you will find our event very timely, and we would like to hear your perspective on Hong Kong's technology and innovation. Please welcome, David. Good morning, uh, uh, Professor Xu, uh, Professor Yip, Professor uh, Jen, and uh, Professor Wang, uh, distinguished uh, speaker, uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think uh, <clears throat> it's really a great honor to um, you know join you all today at this uh, first um, you know reported uh, you know day. I think uh, Hong Kong UST uh, reported days, as as you know, Professor Wang said, is very timely. Um, you know, we are a bit two years old, around two years old. Uh, I think, um, you know, as you probably uh, experience, the uh, innovation and technology really can, uh, has been uh, advancing our uh, productivity, um, you know, our competitiveness as well as efficiency. And, um, you know, as uh, Lancy said, you know, this 20, 30 years, uh, a lot of uh, robots in the, you know, Hollywood movie, you know, R2, D2, you know, whatever, is uh, become reality. You know, just two, three days ago, you know, our Hong Kong robot has been granted citizenship, you know, to a country, you know, imagine that. And we are really, um, you know, sta uh, standing in the blink of uh, industrial uh, 4.0. And it actually will fundamentally uh, change the way we live, work, and relate to one another. Robots have been seen in different uh, facets of our daily life, and we've greatly enhanced our standard of living. Industrial robots are commonly seen in production lines of manufacturing sector to save time and money. Around 70% are currently working in the automotive, electrical and electronics, metal and machinery industry sectors. The number of industrial robots deployed worldwide is estimated to increase to around 2.6 million by 2019. And more than 1.4 million new robots will be installed in factories around the world, as forecast by International Federation of Robotics. It is expected that the service robots market will reach to USD uh, 23.9 billion by 2022. Hong Kong is perfectly positioned to cope with these rising needs and stand ready to develop into regional robotics hub. Mainland is not only the largest and fast growing robotics market in the world, but it is estimated to account for a full third of the global supply of industrial robot by 2018. Mainland manufacturers are increasing turning to robotics in an effort to achieve process efficiency with our ge geographic proximity and the development of the Bay Area. We definitely see Hong Kong competitive edge over the others. Moreover, Hong Kong has world-class universities and educational institutions which provide students with access with laboratories and other facilities during ro robot designing building, testing, refining process, and even funding support. The government always stands ready to support these budding scientists through various schemes administered by Science Park by providing access to development kits and other equipment and technologies and receive trainings in engineering, electronics, and artificial intelligence and hands-on technical support in collaboration with technology companies. Hong Kong robotics sector is achieving success not simply in industrial robots, but also in high-tech areas such as animatronics and artificial intelligence, with companies focused on healthcare, safety, and disaster management. Robotic surgeries have been roughly doubled over a thousand cases in recent years. Our university researchers have developed a world-class surgery robot, which is capable of performing abdominal surgery without cutting into a patient's body. 
Another Hong Kong-based rehab robotics in collaboration with the universities is using advanced technologies in rehabilitation process to help patients achieve maximum recovery outcomes, integrating robots into training activities. Inside robotics, an incubator under the Science Park Incubator Program invented the wildfire detection system, which provides industry-leading accuracy, real-time 24-hour surveillance, and early detections of emerging wildfires, shifting the focus to efficient early suppression rather than costly firefighting. To this end, I'm delighted to note that Hong Kong UST is always ready to pursue excellence in the development of robotics through establishments of robotics institute and robotics teams active participation in various international competitions. The HK UST robotics team has been has made impressive achievement in competitions such as the Undersea Ro Robotics Challenge and Intelligent Car Racing, and also took crown of the Robocon Hong Kong contest this year. Well, I have to say that I'm also the uh, early uh, organizer committee, you know, the uh, program committee, and also TAC of uh, Robocon. I managed to meet uh, Wong To and the founding team very early on. You know, so with this continued effort, I think uh, their remarkable achievements speak volume for ever-growing strength of Hong Kong robotics developments and technology talent pool. And once again, bears testimony to our young people's talent in technology. In fact, the government attached great importance to the development of innovation and technology in Hong Kong. And we have identified eight key initiatives relating to INT, Innovation and Technology, in the 2017 policy address. And I just want to highlight, you know, four main points today. First, to strengthen R&D elements in the community, we have already set a goal to double the R&D expenditure as a percentage of gross domestic product from the current 0.73% to 1.5% by the end of the current term of the government. For the higher education sector, the government will inject additional resources into research endowment fund under the UGC. To step up the efforts in this aspect, the government will provide tax deductions for expenditure incurred by private enterprises on R&D to tune of 300% for the first Hong Kong dollar two million and 200% for the remainder. We believe this policy will stimulate private sector investment and to flip the ratio of public versus the private sector expenditure on R&D from government-led to private-led. Second is to nurture local talent and recruit overseas talents. We'll launch a 500 million technology talent scheme to establish a postdoctorate hub to provide funding support for enterprise to recruit postdoctorate talent for scientific research and product development, and another Hong Kong dollar three billion to provide studentship for local students to engage in research postgraduate program. We'll continue to invite world class universities, R and D institution, as well as technology enterprises to collaborate and carry out forward-looking research projects with social benefits. Besides, we have a number of technological research infrastructure projects in the pipeline, including the expansion of Science Park, development of data technology hub and advanced manufacturing center in Zhengguano Industrial Estate, very close to Hong Kong USD here. We're also working in full speed to implement the Hong Kong Shenzhen Innovation and Technology Park at Lok Ma Chow Loop, based on the MOU that Hong Kong signed with Shenzhen Municipal People's Government in January this year. We visualize that this will be the largest innovation and technology infrastructure in Hong Kong upon completion. Last but not the least, we see the, end, the need to set up our STEM education, both at the school and the community level. 
will encourage exhibition and trade fairs to consider open up a day for school visits so that students may be impressed by what technology could offer and inspire them to learn more. I'm sure UST can play a role in, in that to inspire our young you know, student as well. With all this, with your stern support, I'm sure Hong Kong will make a difference. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Chen. Uh, please hold a few steps. Uh, Professor Michael Wong would like to uh, present you a small gift.